Wonder Boy The Dragon's Trap for the Nintendo Switch is a remake of the third game in the Wonder Boy series, originally released on the Sega Master System in 1989, that has a combat system reminiscent of Zelda 2 for the NES, while also being based around a really early version of a Metroidvania type exploration layout, where the upgrades that you get throughout the game allow you to progress further or make new discoveries in old areas. The story in the game is simple. You are ending your adventure at the end of Wonder Boy 2, and when you face off against the last boss and defeat him, you are cursed and turned into a fire-breathing lizard. That last boss also happens to be the first boss in the game, so you very swiftly say goodbye to your overpowered human form and are forced to figure out how to change yourself back. Every boss that you manage to defeat in the game endows you with a new form, such as the mouse that allows you to climb up certain walls, a bird that allows you to fly, the fish man that gives you a better swimming ability, or the lion that has a great strength in combat. You eventually gain the ability to change forms at will through a transformation station that you unlock in the main hub, and it is up to you to figure out how to use all of these transformations to traverse the land and eventually transform back into a human. The redone graphics in this game are beautiful but it's a really nice touch that the designers were able to let you switch back to the original game's graphics and music on the fly. The graphics are definitely what drew me in and are actually one of the best aspects of the game, but they may be a bit misleading. Modern graphics does not mean modern design philosophy. This game is very loyal to its roots and plays like a game back in the 80s would have, which means that there is pretty much no direction of where to go or what to do next and the difficulty can sometimes be frustrating. With all of that in mind, I have to say that this game is not for everyone. There were times where I was enjoying myself exploring and looking for secrets, but at the same time, there were many occasions where I was pushing myself through the game so I could review it, when I would have rather been playing Breath of the Wild or Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, and I think that's very telling. This is a short game, coming in at about 6 hours if you move through it at a moderate pace. I don't feel I can say to buy this game unless you are truly done playing The Legend of Zelda, and don't feel comfortable saying get it for players down the road when there will be many more choices of things that I know will be better. The people who will like this game are probably people who played the original and may have some nostalgia for it, and thus really like the slick new paint job. Or, if you really enjoy retro games, this could be for you. I feel like it could have been a very different story if they had taken a slightly different road with upgrading the game, in the way that Shovel Knight is modern, yet retro at the same time. One is much more enjoyable than the other. I was really on the fence about purchasing this game, but the graphics eventually won me over. If I were to go back and talk to myself about whether or not it was worth the money, I would probably say no, to be completely honest, and wait for the next big release. What do you think of Wonder Boy the Dragon's Trap? Let me know in the comments. Did you find this review helpful? Please like and subscribe, and stay tuned for more Nintendo Switch game reviews in the near future. Thanks guys!